So today is my last day in Tainan and on my way back a couple of people have suggested that I stop at this temple, Nan Kun Sin Temple, which is just north of Tainan and it's kind of on my way back anyway. And I've been here for, well, over an hour now. And to be honest, I don't think I've even seen half of this temple. It is just the biggest, grandest, and frankly, most spectacular temple I've ever seen. Taiwan's oldest and largest Wangye temple. History surrounding this temple dating back as far as the 1600s. There are two tales about the origin of this compound. The first is about Wang Senye, who was a shepherd boy of the Qing Emperor. He practiced Buddhist principles and became a Buddhist himself. Later on, Wang Fu Qian Shui came to Taiwan and got in a fight with Wang Senye over who could build a temple on this land. The Goddess of Mercy mediated between them and suggested that they both build a temple on this land to help the people living in this area. The second tale is from the Ming Dynasty, when a majestic yacht playing beautiful music made its way into the Nanquinsen Harbor one night. The next day, the fishermen went to explore the yacht and all they found was the broken remains of a little boat that had washed ashore. On the boat, there were five statues of gods and a banner bearing the names of the gods and which temple they were from in mainland China. The fishermen were delighted and believed that these statues held divine powers. So they placed them in a straw hut and started worshipping here. They enjoyed record catches and prayers to the five gods cured illnesses better than any medicine they had at the time. A proper temple was built here around 1660 and it has been the center of Wangye practices since. With the completion of their first temple at Nansen Kun Hill, the five lords asked Ma Fu, a renowned sculptor from Fujian province, to travel to Taiwan and carve their images using the sacred tree trunk that had accompanied them to Taiwan. Five sections of the tree trunk were used to carve new images of the five lords. With the remaining sixth section, Ma Fu carved Zhong Jun Fu, the messenger god. Today the six images are collectively known as Kai Ji Chen Shen. At over 330 years of age, these statues are the oldest of Nan Kun Sen's treasures. This temple is famous for its historic artifacts, but also for its grand religious festivals, which happens on most weekends and religious holidays, including shows by spirit mediums called Tang Ki. Not for the faint-hearted, a big and elaborate performance of what might seem like extreme human torture, for lack of a better word. But the Tang Ki is possessed by gods and therefore do not feel the pain that is inflicted upon them. The temple is open from 6 in the morning till 9 at night and has its own Facebook page with updates on festivals and activities. I'm going to go ahead and add a link to that on my webpage. As you can imagine, you can shoot an entire documentary explaining only the splendor surrounding artworks and historic treasures in this temple, which would be impossible for me to cram into a five minute clip. However, I do want to mention two things. First, pay attention to the door gods at this temple beautiful, intricate paintings of gods on the backs of temple doors. Sadly, many of these are being painted over at other temples. So, being able to see this many of them together in one location is truly a blessing. And some of them are painted in a way that creates the illusion that the eyes of the god follows you as you walk past. I found this very entertaining and very cool. The second thing be on the lookout for rectangular gold tablets representing the Jade Emperor. These tablets are housed in the Ling Xiaobao Hall and are 6.6 .6 meters wide, 2 meters high and 60 centimeters thick at an estimated value of 600 million Taiwan dollars.